Hi, I'm Rob from Hobbsine. Thanks for joining me for another video beer review. This time we've got a can of beer from Siren in Berkshire. It's a can of their Every Minute Matters, a California IPA, brewed with their friends from Green Cheek in California. Um, I can't remember where about in particular. Um, but yeah, I mean, a very highly thought of brewery. I mean, I really drop on badly with this brewery. It's always a, a cloud of friends and family. It's always been when they've got like a lager and a mixed firm saison or something. And I always hear great things about their IPAs, but they're never available when I get to the bar. So I'm really excited to try this. I, I, I do like Siren. I love a West Coast IPA. Um, what are they saying about here? Blah, de, blah, de, blah. California IPA. Clean, refreshing. Mose, Citra, Simcoe, Sabro. Bing! Bring the magic. So I'm really interested to try this. So let's open into a glass and see what we've got. <clears throat> I should lift it up really. People love, love to see the pot. <laughs> you can see pouring pretty damn bright as you would expect. Very lager like in its colour. Nearly nearly hedging towards lager colour. It's not quite as a slightly. I sometimes find, find lager's got a slightly green hue to it. <clears throat> this is like a perfect golden beer. Quite pale. Even for itself, um, slight off white head. I'd say kind of it's that um, newspaper kind of coloured head. So swell a sniff. Let's see what that aroma is all about. Not much going on really. Something very faint, kind of like it's floral, and there's a hint of honey. Oh, there's really not much coming off that. It's like ice cream wafer thing. I mean, the aromas. So, I'm trying to smell something. It's like, is it me? Because that smells of so, it's a very kind of like low aroma on that. Anyway, let's dive in. Cheers. Hope it tastes more than it smells of. I'll come back to that if I remember. It's all right. Um... It's bitter, which is good. Um, it doesn't like linger though as well. It's some of a tangy bitterness in this. I'm finding this with the, the modern kind of like um, West Coast IPAs. They don't have a, a lingering bitterness. They've got a very kind of like more of a tang. Grapefruit, slightly dank. It's kind of lacking in both directions. It hasn't got enough hop flavour. It's got a bit. And it's all more on the dank kind of side being slightly savoury. But then the bitterness, like, as I said, it's not a, it's not rasping. It's not dry. It's none of those things. It's, not, it's very little bite. It's just a little, little tang on your, on, the, on your lips. So I don't think it delivers in that. It's I mean, it's really, it's just fine. It's, it's fallen massively short, if I'm being honest. Hoped for more. Um, it's got a bit of a dishwatery kind of thing going on. The hot flavour isn't very bright. Um, it's just, it's just really lacking. It's so, I'll drink it and I won't not enjoy it. But it's just, as far as the review goes, there's just so little going on. And the ba and the hop bitterness. It's not up to it. I mean, when I think of West Coast, I, I, you know, I spent a couple of weeks in California. I mean, I'm not sure what kind of like the modern um, West Coast IPA is is like. Really, I mean, when I went back, I'm going back like kind of like six years now. Um, yeah, six years. Um, it was just a lot more pronounced in every direction. Lacks character, but I said it's fine. <sighs> yeah, falling short as that one. So that siren and green cheek. Every minute matters, yes, it does. California IPA, nah. 7.2% ABV, nah, disappointed. I'm Rob from Hobbsing, see you next time. Cheers.